Well, Nelly, back on Hearts of Ironfall, as per usual, I'm sure you don't expect anything else. And today we'll be bringing back an ancient empire, one that has been gone for hundreds and hundreds of years. And don't forget everyone, it is ya boy, Alex the Rambler, bringing you more formable nations. Today we'll be doing Byzantium, and this is going to be more clutch than ever. I'm sure you'd all agree that none can beat me. Oh, I think I'm running out of cringe. My, my, my cringe inside me is gone. So of course, leave a like for more Hearts of Iron 4, and leave a like if you're glad to see Byzantium back, or Byz the Byzantine Empire, however you want to say it. Byzantium returns in 1936. Oh, I am, I am quite tone deaf. So the, again, this is using the formable nations uh, that you can do through the decisions tab. I have already done it. Uh, so we've restored Byzantium, having rid our old territories of the Turkish yoke. We can now, with some propaganda, claim our nation as the successor of the very empire the Turks ended five centuries ago. And our aim really will be to try and almost restore what Justinian managed to conquer during his reign. And heck, I may even go beyond that. I do still have the basic focus trees, which is a smidging annoying, but you know, what can you do? And once again, free research slots, which again is, is alright, but I would like more. And our first opponent, at least I'm going to try and make him my opponent because, well, he's usually incompetent. Oh, 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 Greek ascendancy has perplexed many military experts across the globe, but the results speak for themselves. Mm. So they managed to get freedom, but they didn't manage to research planes, which is fantastic. Brilliant. Love it. Love it, Byzantium. Love it. Now, I do actually have 90 factories now, which is really quite powerful. I think we all, we actually surpass... Oh god, they, yeah, this is a powerful, formable nation. I didn't realise how big I could get so easily. And definitely go down the collectivist ethos. But Mussolini needs to fall, so he will be my first target. Although I do, I do really wish I could get better divisions than this. Heck, I might as well choose my religion, and I believe we were Christian, so that's, that's where we'll go. It takes, like, over two years to, get, to become Christian. What? Okay, nationalism focus, here we go. Oh, well, that was... Okay, yes, we don't... We don't... We don't... We, we need to watch out for the old uh, commies. Well, I'm, I'm converting far quicker than I did when I was playing as Sweden. Crumb diddly arms. Uh, also, if you've got any ideas for the next formable nation, again, I'm, I'm away, so you can leave your comments for, for when I get back, but... These are recorded ahead of time. Okay, here we go... Wait, where is it? Yes, whole national referendum! Pa Ciao! Hey, we are now the Byzantine Empire, led by Georgios Cosmid Cosmid Cosmidis. Okay, so if I join Germany, for now, okay, just for now, then justify on Italy. Oh yeah. Oh, this could be useful. War with Italy in 1936, you say? Not, not, not probably not. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh my giddy gosh. Hirohito is going communist, or at least, wait, what? What? Well, I've never actually, apart from me doing this, I've never actually seen them do it. Oh dear. What are you doing, Hirohito? But we might as well give it a risk and declare war on Mussolini now, and call in Mr. Germany to help us. Oh, Poland-Lithuania has been formed. Crumbs. God, this is a very odd game. The, ja the, the communist lost. So, I don't know what you're going to do now. Hirohito's kind of screwed himself because he's now got a, a basic focus tree. Um, okay then. So as soon as the Angelus is completed, we should have a good chance of just capitulating Italy. At least I'm hoping that's the case. Because if not, this is going to be a long war for no reason. Well, in terms of divisions, I kind of match them, but in terms of a navy, they far... They, I can't believe Mussolini is so superior. I never thought I'd be saying that. Mussolini... Is superior. Oh, 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 yes, 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 Go, Germany, go! I'll hold them in place. Just move, you fools! Move in! <laughs> no one can stop Germany. I mean, it was meant to be me that took them over, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Recklessly charge in, boys! Recklessly charge in! Oh, yes. Ah, I do love it when stuff like this happens. Oh, for pity's sake. Oh, let's hold a speech. Patriotic speech, there we go. Hey, what are we fighting for? We've done a good speech, so we get extra stability. Noish, 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 noish. Oh, in case I hadn't already mentioned, I'm using a mod which adds in extra events and decisions. 
Uh, so as you can see, we can. I think these are probably in our. Oh, there we go. So I can celebrate Easter. So I've been surprised that I can't break through, uh, and I think it's mainly because Germany is just wasting so many troops. Do it. Uh, it's very frustrating because they're using all the supply. So my 40 combat width infantry can't do anything. I don't know. Who knows if my divisions are helping anymore? I certainly don't. I bet you my area of superiority is though. I do have quite a large air force now. Oh, just kidding. Oh, no, 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 we're okay. No, oh my god. Well, thanks to Germany having so much war score, they've made... Uh, it looks so gross. So gross. So... Uh... uh so I'm going to have to go on a mass recruiting drive to try and oppose the German Reich, because I can't live with this border. Uh-oh, looks like he's going to kick off World War II. Yep, he's... Yep, uh, Germany wants me to join his faction. N no, I'm going to justify instead. Because it looks like... Oh, it looks like they're holding it. They're holding the Germans! They're holding the Germans! Oh my god, they got declared on by the Soviet Union too! Oh, that's brilliant. Hey, we capitulated Hungary. And now on to Bratislava. Hold on. The Yalta Conference has happened, but I haven't been a part of it. That's very, very rude. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> Unitary Canada has rebelled against Canada. Um. Oh no, it's the creepy dude. It's the creepy dude. So I've sent my artillery divisions to see if we can knock out chi uh, J J Japan, not China. Oh my gosh. I imagine we'll be able to. Oh my god, they've already taken a million casualties. This war didn't go very well for them. I don't know why they entered, personally. But... Hold the phone. The Soviet Union want us to join, even though I'm fascist. Well, why not? Well, hey! All I have to say at the minute is, where's the bloody peace deal? This is, I, just, I just want this to end. Let this war end. Japan, you freaking... Oh. I should be able to get across now. Somehow we got naval superiority. Huh. Oh my F. Oh my F. Oh my F. Freaking go! For the love of gosh, take another port. Take another port, you fool! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh, yes. You just died! How are you still alive? What? How is he back? How the feck is he back? But hey, we can have a triumph for Italy. Finally, that's all I wanted to do since 1936. Oh, boy. Oh. They've gone... Communist, eh? But they're in the Allies. I think I'm still going to have war with them, because I would, I would quite like to take back Africa. Okay, well, this is World War Three. And we've taken the Suez, which is very good. I didn't even... I, I brought my best tanks down here, and, and they, weren't, they weren't even used, really. I decided to help the Spanish push up here, so we might actually be able to capitulate the French, which is... I wasn't really expecting that, but I'll, I'll take it. Okay, France is capitulated. And I imagine if I push on Brussels, Antwerp, etc., and Amsterdam pretty quick, we can trap most of the remaining troops, hopefully... At least that'd be the plan. Oh, 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 oh! I can do a triumph for Egypt and Tunis too. Noish. Hold the phone. The USA declared war on the French Commune, not us. <gasps> they entered in the side of us. Oh, thank you, USA. Bless you. So I managed to power drop. So we're just going to head on in. Hopefully, things looks a bit dodgy for a while, but we should be able to capitulate the UK pretty soon. Well, I think we should be getting a peace deal. Unless something's happened. Oh. The Raj has to capitulate. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's okay. It looks like the... Who is this? Socialist Republic of the Zhu Jiang are going to take out the Raj. Oh, my God. Now Australia is a major. What the feck? I... They just don't want me to have a peace deal, do they? Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Because now the Allies have made Australia a major for some reason. It's, it's not a major, okay? It's not. But I think we've done pretty well as the Byzantine Empire. We've reclaimed most of our lost territory. I did actually have control of Cyprus for a little bit, but then they took it back. But all, all, all I was going to do was triumph for the Levant. But I think I did one better and, and retook the UK. So if you've enjoyed seeing the Byzantine Empire rise from the ashes, leave a like. And I'll be back very, very soon. Bye.
Many thanks to Oscar, Wyatt, Feedback Gaming, Nico, Tylin, Jared, Martin, Lexi, Logan, Super Gibson, Sam, Red, The Hardmeister, Goram, and Zazzy for being ridiculous ramblers on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. 